Happy sharing na ba? Okay, yes, ayan. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma <laughs> Okay, happy learning. <laughs> okay, so I already posted the the course syllabus, no? Ito. Let's go over with this one. That's wrong. Ayan. So the course number, 2J, this is of 4. Course title is Ethics. And we don't have a uh, prerequisite naman, no? As uh, so natin ngayon. The vision, mission, the quality policy, and the FTD goals, no? I presume, no? Uh, this was already explained to you by your previous professors, no? So I guess uh, there's no need for me, no, to go over with this again. But if you want, no, you can read this one. Well, anyway, uh, nasa Google Classroom naman natin, no? Ayan. If you want to read again, okay? So we have here the course description, principles of ethical behavior in modern society at the level of the person, society, and in interaction with the environment and, ad, and other shared resources. So this is all about ethical behavior in modern society, you know, at the level of the person. So really at the level of each and every one of us, okay? So we have here a four, four course learning outcomes. So the first one, uh, you will be able to demonstrate demonstrate content knowledge on how to apply basic concepts of ethics. Then second one is to demonstrate understanding on research-based a moral stance on prevailing contemporary ethical issues. Then the third one, uh, demonstrate an, an understanding on the manifestation of social responsibility by responding accurately to a given critical situation. And lastly, uh, you will be able to demonstrate demonstrate a content na, content knowledge and application of tolerance on other cultures, values, and beliefs by recognizing the differences between and among other culture. Okay. Ayan. So the content of our subject we have here weeks one and two. So no, we are of course we have this orientation, di ba? Ayan. So, in our orientation, we are going to present to you the course syllabus as well as the other uh, policies of our course. And ito, no? Uh, basic background of our subject of our course, okay? So, we have here, uh, we are going to define ethics, no? And we have here questions, no? Given questions. Why do we study ethics? No? Bakit kailangan natin uh, pag-aralan ng ethics? What is the object of ethics? Ano bang object ng ethics? What is the importance no? of, study, of, the study, of the study of ethics? Ano bang importansya? Bakit kailangan bang merong ethics? No? So what are the divisions of ethics? Okay. Then uh, it is followed by what is ethics? What is ethics as a set of principles of right conduct? Then what is ethics as a theory or system of moral values. No? Okay, then followed by the ethical schools of thought or different frameworks in ethics. No? Do we need to be ethical? How does religion affect, one, affect one's values? No? Talaga bang there uh, merong uh, nakaka-affect ba talaga ang religion ng bawat isa sa atin? Nagkakaroon ba na talaga ng malaking influence no? ang religion no, natin? Kailangan ba talaga nating magiging ethical? Yan, yun yun class no. So, so week 3 naman, we are going to talk all about moral relativism. What is moral relativism, no? Then moral relativism versus absolute morality. No, what is this all about? Then uh, how do the system and structure of morality work? Develop, strengthen or weaken the following: the self, the society and the environment. No, ayan. How do the system and structure of morality you know, work in this uh, three ano yan, sections here? Okay. So, how do religious practices influence the following? Paano ba nakapag influence ang religious? Sa relationship of people and sa preservation of environment. Diba? Okay. So, we have here religion and morality. No, ng Eastern tradition at ng Christian ethics, no? So, at least, alam natin, ano bang way ng Eastern tradition about religion and morality, no? And as well as the Christian ethics, no? Then, sa so week 4 naman, 
pag-uusapan natin tong egoism. Ano ba tong egoism? When does being selfless become selfish? No? When does being selfish become selfless? Diba? What is egoism? Ano ba tong egoism? No? What is the nature of the life of excellence? What, uh, what the ultimate worth of goals you seek? No? And how do you rightly obtain your goals? No? Ayan. How do you rightly obtain your goals? May reach mo ba yung goals mo in a rightful way? No? In a rightful manner? No? In a rightful consideration and means? Diba? Ayan. Then sa week 5 naman, ito yung the utilitarian tradition. No? Util utilitarianism and its criticism. So, why can we say that an action is morally right or wrong? No? Paano mo masasabing yung action niya ay morally right or wrong? Kasi merong mga instances na what is right for me might be wrong to you. Or there are also instances na what are those instances na right sa iyo ay wrong naman sa akin. Diba? Oo. Din pag-usapan natin dito yung ang theory ni Bentham, ang hedonistic calculus, at saka yung theory ni Stuart Mill. Then naman, sa week 6 naman, uh, mapag-uusapan natin dito ang the deontological tradition or yung tinatawag natin the theory of duty. No? When can you say that it is your obligation to help and uh, can deontology teach you to be ethical without God? Oh, kailangan ba talaga natin merong God para maging ethical tayo? Or we can live, no? Uh, or you can live without God para maging ethical. O kailangan si God para magiging ethical. Mga ganon, no? Then, natural law. Guidance to human behavior. At saka pag-uusama din natin yung divine command theory. Tapos mag-medterm exam tayo. So, after our midterms, pag-uusama natin ang virtue ethics, no? Can only a virtuous person be ethical? What is the basis of virtue ethics? At meron din tayo mga theoretical perspectives, no? Yung kay Plato's key virtues of wisdom, courage, temperance, at justice, no? At saka din yung virtue ethics ni Aristotle. Okay. Then sa week 8 naman, yung environmental ethics natin, no? So, what environmental ethics means, no? Moral essentialism, the earth, a home to man, a home to man, then the environment, the global environmental, uh, the global environmental destruction, then yung man's moral obligation. Then um, followed by contemporary ethical issues, no? Sa self, sa people, at sa environment. So, madito mapag-uusapan natin yung about sa sexuality. Pag-uusapan natin dito yung premarital sex, adultery, no? homosexuality, no? yung insist, yung abortion. Ang abortion ba talaga is morally wrong? Abortion ba talaga is uh, uh, mali? No? What if in danger yung life ng mother? Is it still considered as mali? Di ba? Ayan. Yung birth control, sterilization, reproductive technology, no? Okay. Then, sumusunod doon ng bioethics, no? yung cloning, uh, intracytoplasmic sperm injection, uh, yung surrogate motherhood, genetic engineering, and in vitro fertilization. So, alam natin maraming mga couple na who resort no, into this kind of ways to, pro to, to procre procreate no? kasi nahihirapan silang magkaroon ng anak. So, ito, no? ito yung ginamit nila. So, is this morally wrong? Ito ba'y tama or mali? No? Ayan. Pag-uusapan natin ito. Then, ang uh, last one, ito yung mass media and morality. No? Lalong-lalo na sa panahon ngayon, no? na panahon na ninyo ngayon, no? uh, you are very, ano na, uh, you know, so, when it comes to social media, very updated kayo, no? Uh, just a click away, no? Lahat ng information, lahat ng sites, as long as na meron ka lang internet connectivity, ang galing, ang dali na lang, di ba? So, mas prone kayo sa pornography, sa violence, no? sa gaming, no? and others. Bakit kasali yung gaming? Kasi andun yung violence sa gaming, di ba? Uh, 
ano ba yung mga laro ninyo, mga patayan, mga whatever, ano yun. May mga trash talk pa, di ba? O, may mga trash talks pa doon. No, yun. Kaya kasali siya. Globalization, uh, morality sa globalization. And the morality of election. Lalo na, this is very timely, no? Lalong-lalo na uh, ang election natin is ano na, eh, fast approaching, di ba? Uh, titingnan natin kung ano yun, ano mga morality na involved doon. Tapos, murder and euthanasia. Types of people's justification, moral implication. No? So, euthanasia naman, meron talagang family na if possible, as long as nabubuhay pa ang pasyente kahit na help with the aid na lang ng machine at talagang ayaw nilang mamatay yung kapamilya nila o yung pasyente nila. Pero meron din kapamilya na very practical sila na what's the use no? na nabubuhay lang naman siya dahil sa machine. So, they resort into euthanasia, no? Uh, tanggalo na lang ang machine para makapahulay ng pasyente. Meron din mga ganun. So, ina-ask din natin uh, what kind of morality meron ng family nito na nag-resort sa euthanasia. Ano ba yung uh, mga justification nila, di ba? So, meaning, uh, in short, ang mga tao pagdating sa ganitong klaseng dilemma, when it comes to decision making, eh, talagang mahihirapan. No? Kasi they are going to weigh things, no? Na parehong mabibigay. Di ba? Okay. Final exams. Then we have here our course project. We have actually activities, no, na included dito sa syllabus. Pero please, ah, magstick tayo doon sa mga activities na ipopost ko sa Google Classroom. Kasi merong ah possibility na may changes sa syllabus natin, no. Pag nakikita natin na merong mas maganda, mas dapat na maganda. So doon tayo sa sa classroom na mga activities na ang ating consider at hindi dito sa syllabus. Okay. Ayan. Uh, actually, we have a consultation period here, 9 to 11, every Wednesday through Messenger, video call, or the like, if you want. But anyway, anytime you can chat me or text me, no? if you have concerns, if you want to share something, or gusto nyo lang may makausap, no? you want. If you want, you may. No? Ayan. As long as na I am available. <laughs> okay. So, yun yun, no? Okay. Yun yung syllabus natin. So, do you have any questions, clarifications, guys? None so far, ma'am. Okay, Gliza, thank you. So, let's move on. We have here, actually, I am going to show you a video about the basics of ethics, no? Ano yung bang mga basics lang sa ethics? Stop sharing mo na ko. How many decisions do you think you make each day? If you ask the internet, the answer will range from 70 to 35,000. If you ask us, it's the wrong question to be asking at all. That's because we're interested in ethics. We're not concerned about the quantity of your decisions. We care about their quality. You might want to think of ethics as a tool that helps us create the difference between a good decision and a bad one. Ethics is the branch of philosophy that asks the practical question, what should we do? This leads to the study of things like values, principles, beliefs, and norms. These are the things that shape our choices. Ethics asks us, how should we live? What choices should we make? And what makes our lives worth living? It tries to help us define the conditions of a good choice and then figure out which of our available options is the best one. Let's say a close friend, Lee, confides in you that they're struggling with depression. They're feeling isolated and alone, but whenever they're invited to go out, they find it impossible to do. Lee insists they don't want anyone else to know. They're trusting this information to you alone. A few days later, another friend comes to you frustrated about Lee. Lee's flaked on plans at the last minute yet again, 
and your friend has had enough. They've decided they just won't bother inviting Lee out anymore. So you're torn. If Lee stops being invited to things, the isolation could make them feel even worse. Sharing information about their depression might help Lee be treated with more empathy and compassion. But it would be a breach of trust. And if Lee found out, especially in a vulnerable state, who knows what might happen? What do you do? Keep the secret and allow Lee to be socially isolated? Or break Lee's trust, but do it for their benefit? Answering this question means getting clear on what matters. Our values and principles. Our values are the things we hold to be good and therefore care about most deeply. Things like justice, knowledge, family and equality. In this case, we're likely to value both trustworthiness and compassion, which pull us in different directions. So it looks like an appeal to values alone won't let us solve this dilemma. We don't just need to know what's good, we need to know what's right. This is where principles come in. They help us draw a line in the sand. They determine the acceptable ways of getting the things that we value. So what's our guiding principle with regard to Lee? Some people might adopt a principle like, be true to your word, meaning you keep Lee's confidence no matter the risks. Others might be inclined towards a principle like, act in people's best interests and decide that it's in Lee's best interest that people know about the depression. Of course, there are still ambiguities, which is part of what makes ethical decision-making so complicated. So how do we select which values and principles to adopt? And how do we make choices when we face a conflict of values and principles? Good versus good, right versus right. What helps to orient our judgment is a connection to purpose. What's our guiding North Star? What's our reason for being? Think about Lee again. Now, think about the purpose of friendship. What are friends for? Think about why Lee decided to tell you in confidence. Your purpose as Lee's friend is to share their life with them, the highs and the lows, but it's their life and it's their decision on who they share it with. Lee chose to share this information with you alone. Given this, even if you prefer to act in people's best interests, thinking about purpose and thinking about Lee's purpose might encourage you to take a different path. Every time we make a choice, we change the world. What kind of world do you want to live in? Whether you make 35,000 choices a day or just one, What's important is that you make choices that are good and right. Choices you can justify, ones you can be proud of. That's what makes the choices actively yours. Ayan. So, do you have a question or what is your understanding about the video? <laughs> no? So, yeah. So, there's a lot of questions. There's a lot of choices, di ba? What is good and what is bad? How do we know that we do... How do we know that what we do is right or wrong, di ba? So, are there certain standards or guides to what we ought to do and not to do? No? If indeed there are, then... What are these standards and norms of right and wrong? Diba? Ano ba talaga? <laughs> so, sinasabi mong mali ito, this is right, this is wrong, pero ano ba? Saan ba talaga? Kailan mo masasabing ay itong ginawa mo ay tama? Kailan mo masasabing na itong ginawa mo ay mali na? Diba? So, are good and bad simply relative? No? Or is there really an objective and absolute basis of what is right and what is wrong? No, so where and how can we find it? No, if indeed there is, diba? So what makes some rules or principles of action better than the others? How can we know which rules are good and which ones are bad? What does it mean when we say that some rules are worth following than others? Can we do something that will give us pleasure but at the same time also hurt other people? Diba? So, tingin natin, diba? Uh, this uh, will make me happy. 
O, oh, bakit mali siya? No? This will make me happy, pero yung iba na hurt because of this happiness. Is this still correct? Uh, is this still right? No? Ayan. Di ba tinatanong natin yon. So, how do we know that our actions are morally justified? No? Should we always put others' interest ahead of our own? No? Magiging self selfish na ba tayo kung palagi yung sarili lang natin ang ating iniisip? Diba? And why? Diba? So, is it always wrong to prioritize ourselves before others? No? Kaya lang, mali ba yun? Palagi natin iniisip yung una muna yung sarili natin. Dapat bang unahin muna yung iba? <laughs> Ayan, no? yung mga ganong situation. Unahin natin yung iba, hindi naman ako magiging happy. E kung magiging happy ako kung unahin ko yung sarili ko, tama ba to? Diba? O, oh, ayan. So, is ay yung prim primarital sex inherently wrong? Talagang mali ba yun? Or what about homosexuality and same-sex marriage? So, are there situations what would justify, uh, justify some acts uh, that most people uh, traditionally consider to be bad? Or is it always right to follow one's own conscience? No? Can conscience be ever be wrong? Nagkakamali ba yung konsensya mo? <laughs> or konsensya niya? Or konsensya natin? <laughs> so, what do we do in situations where uh, there are more than single obligations? No? How can we reconcile conflicting duties? How do we deal with cases in which uh, the consequences are not neatly separable into good and bad, but are intermingled with each other? Diba? Ang hirap kaya yung identify class, no? Ayan. So, how do we determine whether a person is responsible for her or his actions? So, are there degrees of moral responsibility? Are we always morally accountable for everything we do? What are the elements of moral responsibility? No? Daming questions. There's a lot of questions. Sinabi niya kanina kan sa video. There's a lot of choices that we made. There's a lot of decisions no, that we made. Lahat, no? Ayan. So, in question, in short, why do we need ethics? So, is it really important? No? Can we still be good without it? Pwede naman tayong maging mabait. Pwede naman tayong uh, gagawa ng mga right things, right things, no? Na walang ethics. Kailangan ba talagang meron? Diba? So, why in the first place should we be good? Bakit kailangan, no? What's good in doing and in being good? <laughs> no? What is the ultimate ground of moral goodness? Diba? Sa so some of these and other related questions, diba? At one time or the other, have been asked by a good number of people. Especially those who have found the time to reflect about the bigger and more important concerns of life. No? These questions also arise somehow during the times when we are faced with certain situations that would put into a serious question and challenge no, our preconceived and traditional ideas of goodness and badness, no? a rightness and wrongness in human conduct. Yung sinabi nga nila, kung ano tayo ngayon, ay bunga yan, no? bunga yan ng kung anong, magi, kung anong nagiging decision natin before. Nag-decide ako noon ng ganito, kaya ngayon, na-realize ko na mali pala yung decision na yon. Nagkamali ako sa nagiging decision ko, kaya I suffered this now. Parang gano'n. So, nagiging masaya ako kasi uh, tama ang nagiging decision ko, kaya satisfied ako kung anong meron ngayon. Yung mga gano'n, no? So, kung ano man yung present situation natin, lahat yun because of our decisions and choices no? na we made, we made no? Yun. Uh, nagiging ganito ako kasi dinidecide ko or, or nag-choose ako na magiging ganito. Hindi ako nagkamali sa decision ko. So, nagiging ganito, ang na-experience na ko ngayon, medyo hindi ako happy, nagkakaroon ng mga regrets, no? Kasi mala, mali pala yung nagiging decision ko before. Yung mga ganun class, no? Yung mga sabi nila, mga pagmahay sometimes, kasi nagkamali tayo sa desisyon natin sa buhay. Yung ganun. No? So, I still have here another video no? for your deeper understanding no? about ethics. Let's watch this.
Hello, my fellow notes friends. With our simple whiteboard discussions, we hope to help you in understanding the key topics in philosophy in an incredibly easy way. In today's whiteboard edition, we will address the question, what is ethics? The term ethics is derived from the Greek word ethos, which originally means custom or character. Broadly construed, ethics is a branch of philosophy that studies the rightness or wrongness of a human action. In particular, this branch of philosophy is concerned with questions of how human persons ought to act and the search for a definition of right conduct and the good life. It is for this reason that the attempt to seek the good through the aid of reason is the traditional goal of ethicists. It must be noted, however, that there is no single absolute definition of ethics. This is because ethics as a discipline is constantly evolving as a result of a change in socio-cultural and political context. For example, in the Greek tradition, ethics was conceived as relating to the concept of the good life. Thus, the ethical inquiry during this time was directed toward discovering the nature of happiness. In fact, Aristotle's Nicomachean Ethics does not only present a theory of happiness, but also provides ways in which happiness is attained. Now, centuries later, a quite different orientation was introduced by the Judeo-Christian tradition. In this ethical tradition, the ideals of righteousness before God and the love of God and neighbor not the happy or pleasant life constitute the substance of ethics. Indeed, if we make an effort to reconcile these views, we are faced with the difficult task of defining the relationship between doing what is right and being happy. Again, it is for this reason that we cannot have an absolute definition of ethics. The least that we can do, in my opinion, is to describe the nature and dynamics of ethics based on a specific time and context. It is also important to note that ethics is not the same with morality, although many philosophers believe that the two terms can be used interchangeably. This is because the former denotes the theory of right action and the greater good, while the latter indicates practice, that is the rightness or wrongness of a human action. In other words, ethics undertakes the systematic study of the underlying principles of morality. Hence, it is interested primarily in the illustration of a more general problem and the examination of underlying assumptions and the critical evaluation of moral principles. Morality, on the other hand, is more prescriptive in nature. It tells us what we ought to do and exhorts us to follow the right way. According to Terence McConnell, morality is characterized as an end-governed rational enterprise whose object is to equip people with a body of norms that make for peaceful and collectively satisfying coexistence by facilitating their living together and interacting in a way that is productive for the realization of the general benefit. For example, a religious leader may ask her followers to be good at all times. In this way, a moralist may want to keep alive the values she considers to be worthwhile and to improve the moral quality of the community where she belongs. Hence, morality at the very least aims to guide one's action by reason and gives equal weight to the interests of each individual affected by one's decision. Indeed. This gives us a picture of what it really means to be a morally upright person. And so we may conclude that ethics is the science of morals, while morality is the practice of ethics. During the mid 20th century, according to Sumner, a certain theory in the methodology of ethics has gradually become more and more widely accepted at least by British and American moral philosophers. According to this position, there are two ways of doing ethical inquiry, namely normative ethics and meta-ethics. On the one hand, 
Normative ethics is prescriptive in nature, as it seeks to set norms or standards that regulate right and wrong or good and bad conduct. This may involve articulating the good habits that we should acquire, the duties that we should follow, or the consequences of our behavior on others. Hence, normative ethics normally attempts to develop guidelines or theories that tell us how we ought to behave. For example, Immanuel Kant's claim that an act is morally right if it is done for the sake of duty is an example of a normative ethics. Metaethics, on the other hand, is descriptive in nature. According to Sumner, metaethics is allegedly constituted, at least in part, by questions of the meanings of the various ethical terms and functions of ethical utterances. Hence, if a normative ethical inquiry is evaluative and prescriptive, metaethics is analytical and descriptive. Put simply, Metaethics is a type of ethical inquiry that aims to understand the nature and dynamics of ethical principles. It asks questions about the nature and origin of moral facts as well as the way in which we learn and acquire moral beliefs. Thus, for example, if normative ethics urges us to do good at all times, metaethics asks the question, what is good? For sure, if a moral philosopher attempts to address the questions, what is good, what is justice, why should I be moral, then that moral philosopher is doing metaethics. Hence, when Plato proposed an answer to the question, why should I be moral, Plato was doing metaethics. Indeed, Plato raised a metaethical question. In the course of the development of ethics, Applied ethics became its third major type. As its name suggests, applied ethics is the actual application of ethical or moral theories for the purpose of deciding which ethical or moral actions are appropriate in a given situation. For this reason, casuists, that is the adherents of applied ethics, are concerned with individual moral problems such as abortion or euthanasia and attempt to resolve the conflicting issues that surround these particular moral problems. Casuists may also act on some occasions in an advisory capacity, such as guiding individuals in their choice of actions. For example, they may attempt to resolve the conflicting duties of a mother suffering from ectopic pregnancy who has no other option than to abort the fetus. Applied ethics is usually divided into different fields. For example, we may talk about business ethics, which deals with ethical behavior in the corporate world, biomedical and environmental ethics, which deal with issues relating to health, welfare, and the responsibility we have toward people in our environment, and social ethics, which deals with the principles and guidelines that regulate corporate welfare within societies. Finally, the difference between the three major types of ethics can be illustrated in the following situation. A police officer shoots a terrorist who is about to blow up a crowded shopping mall. The act of the police officer is morally wrong according to meta-ethics because it is always wrong to kill as is well known, killing in itself is intrinsically wrong. However, if the police officer does not shoot the terrorists, many innocent people will die or get injured. Though the police officer's act may be wrong, the adherents of a normative ethics may say that it is the right thing to do in this particular situation because not doing so will result in the death of so many people. Hence, the action might be morally correct. Finally, the casuists may say that the police officer is just doing his best to fulfill his duty, that is, to protect as many innocent lives as possible. Alright, that's it for today. Keep looking forward to our series of Okay.
So, ayan. So, since ethics as a practical science, no, is the study of the choices people make, no, regarding right and wrong. And since most of us, diba, make a number of moral choices in our everyday lives, um, it is quite obvious why the study of ethics is important. Big and small, the choices and decisions that we make uh, every day uh, talagang, uh, affect the kind of life we live no? to a lesser or greater extent. So we become good and bad persons based on our choices. nag agree kayo doon? <laughs> no? So another reason why we need ethics is the fact that Making moral decisions is oftentimes difficult. No? Napakahirap sometimes, class. This is very true no? when we are confronted and come face to face with moral dilemmas. Diba? So in here, there is a need for us to pause and reflect no? as to what particular course of action to take. Diba? So the study of ethics can provide us with certain moral paradigms or perspectives that will, in a way, guide us in determining what is right and what is wrong under such condition. So the study of ethics will also enable us to reason out no, our moral beliefs and of why we hold them. It is not enough to have uh, certain beliefs on what is good and bad. We also have to know the reason why we have them. Diba? So ethics as a critical discipline will enable us to examine more closely the ground and foundation of our moral beliefs and claims. No? Ayan. So I hope you learned something. No, you learned a lot from the video no, that uh, I presented no, a while ago. So, do you have something in mind? Or do you want to say something? Okay. Okay. So, I already posted no, the module one, lesson one no, of our course. So, here. We will just go over with this one and then uh, we'll just share that, you know, with some sharing of experiences no? and sharing of uh, your life, uh, sharing of experiences when you have this dilemma, no? Um, ano kayo ngayon because of the, your decision before, yan, yan. Okay? So the content of lesson one is all about the definition, nature, and scope of ethics, then the objectives of ethics, and the division of ethics. So we also have here... The specific outcomes, now we have four. Uh, you, you will be able to define what is ethics, explain the nature of ethics, discuss the scope of ethics, and lastly, you will be able to define and differentiate pure ethics from applied ethics. No? Alam ko, uh, this uh, was already presented, no? Diba doon sa video? Okay yon, ito yon, content niya. Then, Ayan. Nagda-drop tayo dito sa ating first activity. Activity number one. I also uh, already posted this one, no? So, you are free actually to write your thoughts. Any thoughts, no? If it is uh, uh, additional information, if it is affirmative consideration or negative thoughts, no? You can freely, no? You can freely chat it down in our Google Classroom, no? Wala tayong deadline, eh. Wala tayong deadline. As long as na pwede kayong mag-interact doon on or before sa finals, no? Para naman to give me ample time also to recheck, no? Kung sino yung mga nagpa-participate. Hindi naman siya mandatory, class. Uh, hindi siya mandatory na kailangan mo talaga mag-participate doon sa activities natin, no? Sa mga, uh, yung, you're free to write your thoughts. Pero i-consider din ko din siya, no, in giving grades, di ba? Okay, so yan, do you accept the viewpoint that man is not a rational being, but also an ethical being? Okay, so andun na to sa 
classroom natin. Let's check it out. Oh, may nakasagot na pala eh. Sabi ni Mark, man has been described as a rational entity. Yeah, this is a question of personal preference. No, ayan. So, meron na. Uh, we already have here one comment from Mark. Okay, tingnan ko ako ilan na ba ang enrolled sa aking online class <laughs> sa Google Classroom ko. Uh, wow, I already have 41 out of 49. Okay, well, very good. Okay, welcome to the class. <laughs> ayan, okay. So, ito yun, no? Ayan, ayan, ayan. So, one at a time yung posting natin para hindi kayo masyadong ma-stress, no? One at a time. After this, uh, module lesson 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth. Activity 1, then 2, 3, okay, and so on and so forth. Yun lang. Okay. Balik tayo. Okay. What are your thoughts, ideas, or experiences that you would like to share? Would you like to share in this class? I would like to share. Or what is your understanding? Or do you have any experiences? Anybody? This is my third subject, actually, you know, sa ethics. Sa araw na to. <laughs> sa araw na to. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Naugan na akong tilaok. <laughs> yes, anybody from the class who would like to share? Uh, actually, class sa class, ko, uh, I usually encourage everybody to talk. I usually encourage everybody to share your ideas, your opinion, your experiences. No? Walang bully dito sa klase natin. No? We are free. You are entitled to your own opinion if you want to say something against or affirmative ba, no? As long as uh, meron tayong mapag-uusapan sa klase, no? Ayan. Anybody? Walang question? Walang sharing? <laughs> yes, Paolo. May romance sana involved. Yes, Apollo. <laughs> Wala pa. <laughs> Ano, ano? <laughs> ano ulit? <laughs> Para mo, may romansa na involved sa narang cashier. <laughs> <laughs> kanina, actually, kanina, sa, sa, sa subject ko before sa inyo, actually, para nagiging emotional kami lahat, no? Dahil sa sharing ng isa naming kasamahan. Uh, she shared uh, something about her, ano, very, very masakit na experience, no? When uh, her, uh, Papa and her sister no passed away no yung yung nag-share siya sa decision making uh, ang iyong papa invited her to go with the to go with them para to go somewhere else they nag-decide siya to uh, to stay at home yeah i yeah, i don't know just like noon na wag na lang muna akong sumama sa kanila yun daw yun yung decision niya yung time na yun then ang nangyari it was very uh Ano, unlike the situation para sa kanya. In fact, para nangyayang na din kami, no? When she shared it to me, to us, no? Na nagkaroon ng uh, parang disgrace siya yung papa at saka yung ate niya na naging dahilan, no? Na maaga silang uh, nawala sa buhay niya. Tapos, yes, no? It's very, ano, masakit na experience yun para sa kanya. No? So, na doon yun ang sasabi na because of her decision to stay at home, no, uh, parang somehow nagiging good decision yun para sa kanya, kahit na uh, bad things no really happen, no, sabi niya. Nagiging good decision kasi she's still alive, no, she's still alive na save yung life niya. Pero hindi naman ibig sabihin naging happy siya na nangyari yun sa kapatid at sa tatay niya, no? Yun. So, yun. So, ni-share ni ni -share niya sa amin. Yun. Pero what makes it good and what makes it very enlightening kasi uh, she was able to share it to us with very enthusiastic, in, in a very enthusiastic manner, no? Yung parang pinakita niya sa amin na she is now on the stage of coping up, no? sa kasi hindi madali yung class. Uh, could you just imagine no tatay niya at ate niya yung nawala no tapos um sinishare niya sa amin tapos 
the way she shared it to us is parang talagang ando na siya sa point na nakarecover na siya sa sa sadness no na nafeel niya nung time na yon no tapos na the way she shared it na ipakita niya sa amin on paano niya na cope no ang ganung klase ng sitwasyon sa buhay niya kung paano nagiging positive yung outlook niya sa life no kasi hindi madali hindi madali yon sa bawat isa sa atin na maka-experience ng ganun no kasi kadalasan uh, pag maka-experience tayo ng ganun is parang negative no ang tingin natin sa buhay or magiging magkakaroon tayo ng hatred kung bakit nangyari yon bakit Uh, pinayagang mangyari yun sa life natin na gano'n na maalam naman natin na talaga gano'n kasakit, no? Pero iba nagiging outlook niya, no? She shared it to us. So, we're very happy actually. Though, though, though parang na-carried away din kami sa so, story niya, no? Sa so, story niya, na masakit talaga. Parang, my God, parang I am about to cry. <laughs> Pero, nagiging masaya din yung discussion kasi happy siya, no? happy siya. Na, na, naka-recover siya. No? Naka-recover siya. Tinitinanin niya, na niya ang life in a brighter way. No? In a positive way. Hindi yung nagiging hindrance para para mag-stop siya ng mga rap. Hindi yung nagiging hindrance para mag-stop siya to reach her goals. No? To reach her dreams. No? Ayan. So, na- pangyayari or sa bawat uh, hindi magandang pangyayari sa life natin or sa mga hindi magandang experiences natin sa buhay. Di ba? Kung hindi ibig sabihin na kung magkaroon tayo ng hindi magandang experience, wala na tayong chance no? to be happy or wala na tayong chance to reach our goals and dreams in life. Di ba? Yung ganon. Ang ganda ang ganon. Meron din tayong mga uh, uh, ano, na meron din silang sharing na meron din siyang family na nag really supportive sa kanya ngayon, na medyo nahihirapan siya sa sitwasyon natin ngayon considering sa ano, sa platform natin, no? Uh, how she tried her best, no? To really pop up everything, no? Na nahihirapan siya to attend the class, nahihirapan siya to continue on her studies kasi wala siya nakitang support sa kanyang environment, sa kanyang surroundings, no? Pero she really tried to do her best. No? Kung baga, sabi nga nila, laban lang. <laughs> Kaya natin to. No, ano? Ay, yung ganun. May mga ganun klaseng sitwasyon natin sa buhay. No? Hindi talaga natin may iwasan. Kasi ang life naman, hindi lang talaga puros masaya. Ang life naman is hindi lang talaga lahat maganda. No? Meron talaga ang pangyayari sa buhay natin na hindi ka aya-aya. Pero it doesn't mean na hanggang doon lang din tayo. Di ba? So, gawin natin tong ah, uh, Uh, parang inspirasyon, di ba? Gawin natin itong inspirasyon to reach our goals, to reach our dreams, no? In life. Kasi hindi naman sa lahat ng panahon ng buhay natin ay nasa negative side lang. Hindi naman sa lahat ng panahon ng buhay natin ay purus problema, di ba? Sabi ko nila, there's always sunshine after the rain. <laughs> there's always rainbow after the rain, di ba? So, hindi palaging ganon. Hindi palaging rain, rain na lang, no? Life is unfair. Yes, it's true. Pero hindi lahat. Hindi all the way out. Hindi lahat sa lahat ng bagay na unfair ang life. No? <laughs> Oo, hindi ganun. Sometimes yung nagiging bad experience natin, yung mga hindi magandang karanasan natin, yun yung mga bagay-bagay na makes us strong. No? Uh, so, kumbaga, lahat na nangyayari sa buhay natin ay may reason. No? Uh, pumayag si Lord na mangyari yun kasi nga may mga reasons siya. May mga reason siya na ano na it makes us strong, it makes us a uh, good, better person, 'di ba? May mga reasons 'yon. Hindi natin ngayon nakukuha ang mga answers ng mga pangyayaring nagaganap sa hindi ka ayaya nagaganap sa buhay natin. Pero later on you will realize na kaya pala nangyari 'yun kasi gusto ni Lord na magiging ganito ako. Kaya pala nangyayari 'yun kasi it makes me better person. Kaya pala nangyayari 'yun kasi it makes me strong. Diba? Kaya pala nangyayari yun kasi giridi lang ko ni Lord, no? Giridi lang ko ni Lord para mas mas ma-overcome or ma-overpower ko ang next challenges na darating sa buhay ko. Yung mga ganoon, klase ng sitwasyon, di ba? Ayun. So ang ganda, no? Ang ganda kung ganoon tayo. We we always look at the brighter side of everything. We should look at the positive side of everything, no? In fact, 
we are very happy, no, that uh, you are here with us in P in you <laughs> in Philippo Normal University, Mindanao. You are very lucky, kasi hindi lahat hindi lahat ng estudyante, no, are given a chance, no, na mapapasok sa PNU, di ba? Ayan, uh, laki tayo, no, na kapag-aaral sa PNU. Laki tayo kasi may bahay tayong tinut tinutulugan. Laki tayo kasi meron tayong pagkain, kinakain, araw-araw, di ba? Laki tayo kasi may pamilya tayong nagmamahal sa atin, di ba? Uh, laki tayo because we are still alive, no? Kung i-compare natin ang yourself natin, doon sa mga tao na sa hospital, doon sa mga tao na struggle para lang mabuhay, di ba? We are very lucky na and dito tayo ngayon. Nagatin tayo sa online class natin, di ba? Ayan. Happy tayo kasi meron tayong tinutulugan, may kama, may katre, may ang sa pabang hinihigaan, hindi gaya ng iba na walang bahay na nagtinutuluyan, di ba? Happy tayo kasi naka, uh, pwede na pa rin natin mabili yung gusto natin kainin. Hindi gaya ng iba na walang makain, no? Tubig na lang. Di ba yung mga ganun class, yung mga situation na ganun sa life, no? May mga pangyayaring ganun. So, yun, dapat tingnan natin yung, ano, yung situation natin na, na mas lucky tayo compared doon sa iba. No? We are lucky enough to be here. We are lucky enough na nakapag-study tayo. We are lucky enough na natanggap tayo sa PNU kasi hindi lahat nagkakaroon ng chance, di ba? Ganun. Di ba? Hey! <laughs> Ganun yun. So, how would I like to share? May mga experiences tayo na pwedeng marinig dyan, na pwedeng magiging inspirasyon natin. Well, uh, moving on with this one. course. Anybody? Uy, bakit ang tatahimik ni? <laughs> Hello, everyone! <laughs> Hi, ma'am! Ma Hi, ma'am! Guys! Hi, ma <laughs> I think, ma'am, there's a lot of experience sila, ma'am, pero they are afraid to share. Maulaw lang ni ma'am. Ma'am, dadito ang experience, ma'am, sir. Ay niyo, ma'am, ay niyo, ang experience na i-share ni siya, ma'am, ay yung kami na naman inspired yung kaklas niyo. Diba? Oo. Come on, one one. Hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. I'm not alive. Hey, I'm not alive. Huh? Hello. Hello. Mom, I'm inspired by the bad memories like that, my experience. Oh. Oh, you can do it. Mom, can you share? No, can you share? Mom, no, no limits of time. Yes. What is that? What is it, Dan? Go. So, pwede ko mag-share, ma'am, sa akong experience. So, kahit pagka mature na na ako or immature. Okay. So, by the way, ma'am, good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. Sa akong mga classmate po. So, ako lang yung experience sa ako, kuhaan life, kung unsay nakapabagos ako, huwag si Kinsa po ang makapagbagos ako. Kaan, recording ako niya. Og asa ako nagregret sa akong mga decision sa una. Wow, ang galing. Oh, thank you. So, so first of all is in when I was a grade 7 student, palakiro kayo ko. Mm -hmm. Tapos wala pa kay ko ikwana to ba, pa ko kuno huna gabi pa na akong kuana to. Pika nang laagri lagi to sa hay magcutting classes me. Mm -hmm. Pero ang akong unahon na ito, nagduha-duha pag ikaw. Tama ba na akong gibuhat? So, mauto nga, kini, grabe na akong kuha na ito, laag, tapos wala kabalo akong mga ginikanan na ito. So, mauto nga, nakaunahon na po kung nga, na po yung mga, kung tama ba ni kung unsay mga, kuhan, kini, unsay mga, kuhan na ni kung maayo ba ni siya, or dili. So, muna yun ito nga, nagpadayon ko ito. So, nakahilak na po ko ito, kini, Unsang manggid ni, unsang manggid ako ang ibuhaton ani. So pagkaman na to, pagka grade 8 student na ako, wagi ako nawala ang akong pagkapalakiro. Pero wala pa ko ibisyo ato. Kaysa ko agad nga pagkalalaki, hindi ko hiligog bisyo. Di ba, limagkuan ra ko kinin, 
maglagla agra with friends pero napo ko uban nga friend pod na maginom sila pero wagi ko nagpatintal mm-hmm. so mao din to nga kay tong gigunaw na nako ang akong eskwela base no mga bagsak ko pagka grade 8 pagka grade 8 ato naka grado ko og 79 mm-hmm. sa mao to kay tungod sa akong pagkapabaya mura bit og wala patay ko sa maayong pangunahuna so mao din to nagunaw nagkuan ko nga nag na, nakahilak na ko kay di ko gusto nga ang akong card matatakan og line of 7 Oo. Uh-uh. Sobrang to nga nanak ko sa pagalingon ng Lord. Nisaon ko mani hatagi ko og kining kining mga hatagi ko og mga kining sa pitawag ani. Ini mag give some reason kung saon ko ni pag pangitag paagi nga mawala ni. So kato nga time wa pa po ko nag-serve sa sa Ginoo. Mura kun pa kay ko ato ba kanang di pa kay ko hilig si hinimba, may nga anak ma'am. Mm-hmm. So, morin to nga, nag-ask ko sa ako, sa among teacher, English pa gito siya, na ma'am, unsa akong angay buhaton para kining mawala ng line of seven. Ang ngayang giingon sa kuwa, pagpaningkamot sa next quarter, nga, muda ko ang imong grado. Mm-hmm. So, mawala yun to nga, kining, naningkamot ko, nga, muda ko akong grado sa pagka next quarter. So, mawala to, na-recover na siya, so, nawala na. So, pagka human is, when I was a grade 9 student, dito na nagsugod ang tanan. Like, dito na nagsugod ko nag-uyab-uyab, nga wala hinungdan. Mm. Tapos, nakaanak ko sa ang kagaling nga, tama ba ko, tama ba ka niya akong decision nga nagsulod na kagulasyon nga wala pa mo kay kalamag. Mm-hmm. So, more than ito nga, ito na, grabe nga tintasyon. Laag, inom, pero grabing tinta sa ko ah, nga, kining daag ta na shata pero ako ni uban nako pero wala gi ko nag inom isip bispito lang so pagka man ato mulakdod na pagka grade 11 ko kining narapo ko na kuan pod nakailan nga mga barkada so mo rin to nga kining nalipay po ko ako na po ko nakaila pod so ako nga pagkatao po di po ko hilay pod og laag pero na nadala lang ko nila kay tungod isip bispito lang so pagka grade 12 ko Nag-serve na ko kang God. So, mm-hmm. mo na yung nga, kining, grabe nga, pagmahay sa akong nabuhat sa katong una, kay, itong grabe nga mga struggles, mga, ana, mga dili mayong nga nabuhat sa akong kinabuhi, katong wapa ko nag-serve kay God. Nag-regret ko kay, nga nung katong napay time, nga nung katong nga time, wala ko nag-serve kang God, nga, sinuod gudya, kung mag-serve ka kang God, nagay miracle, na mabuhat sa imong kinabuhi. Mm-hmm. Like, like ang katong kining pariyatong sa kining wa ko nag-expect ma'am nga makuha ko sa penyo mm-hmm. kay after ani ma'am is katong wala pa nag katong wa pa ni kuanang result sa mga qualif kanabitan qualified sa interview ma'am wa gi ko mm-hmm. nagdahom nga mag- makuha ko so nagampo gi ko ato ma'am nga kining Lord, yung tanah Lord, magpuha ko sa magpuha ko sa Lisan for interview. Kasi sa Domingo ko sa Adlao, ma'am, magpuha ko, nagsimba ko ato. Tapos siyang iampo, biyan agad ko may kalsaran. Tapos siyang super na igad. Tapos pagkat doon is ato, na nang resort. So, itungugit sa ginawa ko mga pag-ampuhin. So, tumungin ang tumungin ang ingon sa Proverbs 16. You commit to the Lord, whatever you do on your plan is succeed. Tapos na nang isa, ang akong ngalan sa ikaw ako hatagan ang ginawa ko ang ikaw muna muna ako nakuha sa akong kagalingon nga good decision ako nakaroon ma'am tapos nga pa isa ma'am kato pong while ago kini nag hospital akong mama mm-hmm. tapos kini nga pag ito na mag hospital nagka positive siya COVID grabe na akong kuhan oo ma'am pero asymptomatic mhm Pero anak ko nga, Lord, kung saan ko man eh, give me a sign kung saan naman ni paglutas nga asymptomatic man eh. So marin to, ako po, di swabog ko. Mm-hmm. Marin to nga, kining positive nga po na asymptomatic, bisag fully vaccinated. Mm-hmm. Mm, natingala ko nga, Lord, nga naman ni Lord, nga naman wala man ni magi, kuha na nga akong dungog sa mga pag-ampo. 
So mo na ito nga nagaday mga an, na po dai uban nga pagampo nimo nga dili to bagon sa Ginoo kay tungod dili na makaayo sa imo ha. Na yes. poy uban gyud nga mga pagampo nga to bagon sa Ginoo kay tungod dili kay tungod pa, pa kay tungod makaayo na sa imong desisyon. So nakarealize ko ato nga nagaday uban nga unanswered prayers ug answered prayers nga gikan sa tong Ginoo. So mo rin tong realize nga once you serve a God there's a there's lot of miracles nga mabuhat sa kinabuhi. Mm-hmm. So nakarelas mo ko nga ang pag-uyab-uyab gid ay dili gid dapat dalion. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, once you enter the relationship gud, jagi na mag- magsugod ang tanan nga mga temptation. Tapos diyan na magsugod aba sin og napay puruhan nga makaundang ka or mm-hmm. stress ka because I believe fall in love with God first because God is give you a right person. Mogi nang akong gikuang nga mas higugma pa unang Ginoo kaysa sa kwan magbuyab-buyab ka kay hatagan nagid ka sa Ginoo ug saktong tao nga dili maka sa imong future. Mm-hmm. So motong akong nakuan ma'am nga kini nagmahay ko sa una kay tungod sa una pa ko nagserve sa Ginoo mo nagregret ko sa mga decision sa una tapos karon ang akong kwan karon is nagserve na man ko kang God muna na akong good decision nga kailangan na nako na ni pag patuloy kay dagay dagay miracle nga nahitabos sa akong kinabuhi di man ako maisa isa pero nakabalo na ang Ginoo kung unsa to siya kay ang Ginoo naglantagid ka natong tanan bisag unsa pa bisag unsa ang atong gipangbuhat wala man bisan pa og wala pa tan wala pa nato gipangayo ang atong gusto bisan og wala pa, pa nato na sulti ang atong gusto o wala pa nato nahunahon na ang atong gusto kabalo na ang Ginoo ana kung unsa atong gusto mo nang God ang Ginoo ginakabalo gid sa to ang tanan decision mo nang naguhat ra po ko sa God's will but mm. but kung maguhat ka sa God's will gid nga nang ikaw mo mga pastor gid na ma if you if you want to re, uh, kung sa Bisaya pa ma miss kining kung gumutuo mo God's will dapat na po mo i God's words kay unsaon man Pagatag sa Ginoo kung mutuo ka God's will kung wala po kay God's words kung dili pud nimo siya sambahon. Mm-hmm. So mo mo rin tong ma'am nga kining wanay ko nagpatintintal sa laag sa bisyo kanang mga barkada na ko nga mga kining kanang maghilig og mambae ma'am. Kay mm-hmm. mga agad sa ko nga na ma'am pero kanang murag itintal gyud ako nila ma'am pero ako wanay ko nagpatintal kay mahadlo ko sa ginoo og sa akong pamilya pud kung unsa may tabo ba kung basin og hatagan ko og pagsulay sa kaaway mis basin din nga na mambam so mo to akong i-share ma'am tapos i hope guys nga let's serve god samtang may panahon pa Mm-hmm. Thank, thank you, Daniel. Ayan. Oh, thank you, Daniel. No, yes, it's true. No, so there was a decision si Daniel before. Na nakita niya na that uh, decision. Uh, uh, ano, mali na mga decision. No, pero we are also glad na na overcome mo na yon. At least na ngayon, uh, you are very sure na you are guided na sa mga decision mo in life. Yes, tama yung uh, Daniel, no? If there is God's will, kailangan mo din yung God's words. At syempre, talagang mas maganda yung kalalabasan kung meron din God's words, no? Nang kanyang mga uh, sumusunod, di ba? Yes, oo. So yan, uh, magaling, maganda yung nagiging karanasan mo, Daniel. No? At least, sana magiging uh, inspiration din sa iba, no? Magiging inspiration sa iba. Kasi hindi naman ibig sabihin kung nagkakamali ka ay eh, wala ka ng chance na pwede kang magbago di ba? Kung nagkakamali ka ay huhusgahan ka na kagad ng ibang tao. Yes, totoo yun merong maghuhusga sa'yo pero dapat ipakita mo na yung paghuhusga nila sa'yo ay mali no? Mali. By by uh, trying to change no? into a better person no? into a good one. Yes, totoo yun no? Hindi lahat ng mga desisyon natin ay tama, no? Ayan. Yes, no, meron din actually akong uh, isang estudyante na nag-share din siya. Actually, may asawa na siya. Uh, she's married na. Sabi niya, uh, hindi niya masyadong napag-desisyon ng mabuti, no? Yung married life niya. Uh, sabi niya, kung sana daw, noong una, 
matured enough na siya to decide on things, sana daw na pag-isipan niya noong, noong una pa, na pag-isipan niya ang mabuti, na hindi pala ganun talaga kadali ang mag-asawa, sabi niya. Pero she is also lucky kasi uh, uh, she was able to realize, no? And now, meron na naman siya, meron siya mga chances also na to prove her worth, no? to prove herself. So, nag-aaral siya sa PNU. So, to i-continue na yung dreams niya, no? na naudlot dahil sa pag-aasawa niya. Ayan. So, at least, meron tayong chance na babang, bumabangon ulit. No? Bumabangon ulit. Meron tayong chance for realization. No? Na-realize natin yung mga bagay-bagay, yung mga pagkakamali natin. Eh, hindi na yun end of the world. Hindi na yun end of the world. If you are strong enough no, to to really pursue no, your dreams, to, to really pur- pursue, no? to reach your goals, or really, you really wanted to change, magagawa mo naman talaga, no? Hindi ka po pwedeng kung nagkakamali ka, doon ka na lang sa mga pagkakamali mo. No? You still have a lot of chance, no? You still have a lot of chance to do, to change things, no? Into a better one. Diba? Yes. Thank you, Danielle. No, ayan. So, don't be afraid. No, don't be afraid to share, class. Bakit? Walang bully dito, no? Bawal dito mag-bully. Walang bullying sa klase natin, no? You're entitled to your own opinion. You are free to share. Go, no? Apollo, meron ba? Baka gusto may share ni Apollo. May mga, ano, experiences sa life natin. Na you want to share para din ano yung iba, ma-inspired yung iba, no? Sabi ni Kimberly, ayaw sa yun, mag-uyab-uyab, kaya masakitan ra ka. Oo, ni sabi nga ni Daniel, no? Um, kung talagang ipagdasal mo lang, no? Ipagdasal mo talaga na, kung yun, if you want uh, to consider the, uh, having a relationship with somebody else, yes, i-ask mo kay Lord na ito yung gusto ko, Lord, in your perfect time. No? In your perfect time. Ibigay din naman niya. Oo, wala hindi, ano, makapag... Wala siyang may bigay sa atin kung, kung nakakabuti naman, no? Yes, Christian! Ayan. Yes, Christian! Ayan. Um, okay, good afternoon, Mama Dungogo. Yes, Christian! Yeah. Okay, so mag-share lang ko, Og. Um, if there is a good decision I've ever made in my life is that um, believing in myself and accepting as who I am and what I am. So, ever since I've been a victim of bullying Uh-oh. because of my gender identity, um, especially walking in a highway, um, a lot of um, tambay calling me gay, bayot, walay padulungan, like that. Mm-hmm. It sounds funny, sa ilahang aside, but mm-hmm. for me, I blame myself why I became like this. Um, God knows I cry every night. Blaming myself nga nung inani ko. Until one day, I realized that I just need to appreciate myself. I just need to accept as who I am and what I am. And I think that is the best decision I've made. Yes. And because of that, I proved to people that I can do something na mas better pa sa ilaha. Yes. And sa una nakita na ako sila tambay. But look at me now. I continue life despite mm-hmm. of that circumstances, mm-hmm. despite of the negativity around me, because I believe that I can do more than them. Mm-hmm. If they can't accept me, then I don't need to insist um, myself or proving myself to them as long as I know na I'm doing good, I make my family happy as well as my friend, and that is the most important thing for me. As long as wala akong inaapakang tao, yes, 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 yes. yun yung pinakamahalagang bagay na nagtutunan ko is yun yung tanggapin lang yung sarili natin. Mm-hmm. Kasi kung hindi nila, hindi naman kasi kailangan tanggapin tayo ng lahat. Mm-hmm. Dahil sabi nga ni Daniel, kung gusto mong iparaya lahat sa Diyos yun. Mm-hmm. And, that's, and maybe God has a reason bakit ako naging ganito. Mm-hmm. Kasi bawat isa sa atin ay may kanya-kanyang libro, may kanya-kanyang pahina. At may kanya-kanyang istorya. At, y- at ito yung istorya ang gusto kong ibahagi sa inyo. Na yung pagkakaiba natin is yun yung nagbibigay sa atin ng um, rason to inspire other people. Thank you. Wow, thank you, Christian. Thank you for sharing, Chan. Yes, no, ayan. 
Um, oo. Uh, isa ang naging dahilan kung bakit uh, merong mga ganong klaseng sitwasyon sa ating society because of the community, no? A kind of community na meron tayo. Parang medyo conservative, no? Yung community natin, lalong-lalo na dito sa atin sa Pilipinas, no? Kasi nga, uh, Uh, ganun yun ang paniniwala natin. No? Pero nakita natin ngayon na unti-unti na siyang nagbabago, di ba? Mas marami na yung mga advocate ng LGBTQ community natin. Mas marami na nakakaintindi, no? Uh, marami ng rumespeto no? sa community ng LGBTQIA+. Pero yun nga, sabi ni Christian, hindi pa rin natin talaga may iwasan na merong mga taong mga judgmental, no? Ang way of thinking nila ay iba pa rin. No? Kasi nga, dahil din yon actually sa community natin no kung anong klasing komunidad na meron tayo yung parang hindi pa tanggap no yung LGBTQIA+. Ah uh, it is pa wala namang naging kasalanan kung ikaw ay na belong no sa LGBTQIA. Di ba? Ayun. Yes, no we have our own individual differences. Kumbaga individual uniqueness no. Ayun. Yan, thank you Christian for sharing Chan and yes, no we support you no with your cause no with that no. Ayun. So as long as na you are happy, as long as na wala kang taong inaapakan, so go no. Ayun, marami tayong magagawang magagandang bagay sa buhay, sa mundo actually, <laughs> sa Pilipinas at sa buong mundo. Thank you, ma'am. Mm. Yan. Ang piin niyo naman, ang piin niyo, ang piin niyo community natin. We are very supportive, no? Pagdating sa LGBTQI natin ng mga kapatid, no? We are not judgmental. We are open, no, sa lahat. Ayun. Thank you, Christian. Ayun. So, thank you for sharing, no? So, I know na meron din dito na made with same experience sa iyo, no? Kaya so lang siguro dahil din sa situation na uh, yung yung sa environment nila na parang nahihirapan silang tanggapin. Pero I'm pretty sure hindi unti, no? matatanggap din yun ng community natin. Kasi ano eh, marami nga yung nag-advocate. No? Na ganyan talaga, meron tayong, uh, meron tayong community na ganito. No? Ano ba naman naging kasalanan no? ng mga community natin? In fact, sila pa kayo mas maraming actually uh, mga talented. No? Mga talented, daming talents kaya nila no? na pwedeng ma-share, maibahagi sa atin. Okay, thank you, Christian. Yes, anybody else? Ayan, no? So, ang decision ni Christian, ang decision ni Christian to really, uh, to open up, no? Kung ano talaga yung nararamdaman niya. Hindi siya nagkakamali, no? Uh, uh, it was indeed, no? A right decision para sa kanya. Kasi nagiging happy siya, na naging uh, totoo siya sa sarili niya, di ba? So, you know, so in, in everyday living natin, talagang nag-decide tayo sa mga bagay-bagay. Yung naging dilema ni Christian, yun lang sa kanyang, uh, i-open up ba yun or hindi? Kasi may mga taong hindi nakakatanggap. May mga tao na ma kung hindi niya i-open up, hindi siya naman happy kung i-consider niya yung iba. Kung mag-open up siya, magiging happy siya, magiging free pa siya kung ano talaga yung tunay na nararamdaman niya. And yes, no, hindi siya nagkamali si Christian sa so, nagiging decision niya. No? Ayan. Oo, ayan. No? Meron talaga mga taong just menta, pero hayaan niyo na sila. Hindi sila masaya sa buhay nila. <laughs> no? As long as we are happy, hindi tayo nangaapak na ibang tao, hindi tayo nakakasakit sa kapwa natin. So, I think wala namang masama. No? Ayan, wala namang masama. Ayan, thank you. Yes? Anybody else? Ayan, this is all about ethics. No? Ayan, the choices that we are going to make. Okay? Uh, uh, kung anong desisyon na nagawa natin, ay ito tayo ngayon because of our decisions. No? Ito tayo ngayon. Nagiging masaya tayo ngayon dahil yun yung naging decision ko before. Kaya nagiging masaya ako ngayon. So medyo hindi ako happy ngayon kasi nga nakapag-decide ako na hindi naaayon sana. No? Ayan. So we still have a lot of chance. We still have, we still have a, a lot of time no, to change. May mga time pa tayo para maging masaya. No, para maging maging happy yung buhay natin. Uh, yan. Yes, anybody else who would like to share? Okay. Ako, ma'am. Yes, uh, Mary Ann. <laughs> yes, Ann. Ko, Ann, kadang nako i-share. Yes, Ann. Yan ba siguro ba na, ayaw ko, kailak-kailak ko ba, pero Ah, sige. Kung 
Pero it's good yeah. to, to share, no? Kasi parang gumagaan yung pakiramdam natin, di ba? O, oh. oh, mag-share ko kay para karapod ba? Karapod, sabi na karun ba? Daghan mag mga classmates. Oh, bili man yun sa Kuan. Or baka students bitaw nga. Mm-mm. Kaya nang wala bitaw nagtarong kong eskwela or na mag Kaya na ako yung mga classmates. Kanang, kung saan ni? Kanang, nagsarig lang. Kaya Kanang, daghang kwarta, ada, di nila musulog sa klas. Kaya na. Pare, daghan na pong kong na ako, na na, na daghan na, na 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 pong kong classmates niya, natabangan na ako. Kay, ka, ako bang good sa ako ang pagka... Hello. Hello. Ako mag ang pagka... Hello. Oh, nag-decide kong working, grade 9 ko kay... Kading, gusto lagi ko, kay syempre ang among advisor sa grade 8, kay taga Rosario man, niya karo mm-hmm. kay na sila restaurant, so, nangita mm-hmm. sila kay Hello. 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 Ato niya. Moto. Hello. Di, nanasin Sorry. ko sa akong mama. Hello. Dagan good me ako mga classmates. Kay enjoy lagi ko. Kanang, may na lang po nang maka-experience na panagsaba. Or kanil, laging magsaba job ni ma kay Kuwan, mm-hmm. baka palit big ka ng mga gamit pag, pag balik sa school. Bitaw ka na, bitaw mamas ko niya. Mm-hmm. Ano na yun to? Nag-decide good ko nga mag-working kay ganahan man ang amuang kuwan, ang, ang mama sa amuang advisor or sila good, mo to akong mama, dili good mo sugot nga mag-working kay ano daw mag-working ha? Kaya man pa estrela niya. Mo to, di ka ng, di kuwan bitaw good ko ka ng ni supak or Something ako yung gipugos akong mama ba? Nya, yeah. hanto din ato, nisugot siya. And then, grabe yung case struggle bitaw. Tapos, mag, mag, malate-late na ko. Kay, syempre, ako na may hanto yun sa nawala ng sinaligan sa restaurant ba? Nya, yeah. syempre, maulo po beta mo yung school. Musulod niya ang, ang schoolahan at bangra. Mm-hmm. Nya mo to nga, nya, pagdakay customer, so, dilit ako makasulod. So, Hanto ng hawa na good sila kay, siyem, nangamin yun naman niya. Ako na po din ang sinaligan ba niya. Grabe na good dog trials kay. Mamalingki pa ko kadlaon sa San Francisco kay. Sorry yung bang ko ano ling. Tapos mamalingki pa ko sa San Francisco niya. Pero na ako mga advisor, subject teacher ba nga. Taga San Francisco man, niulong ka kayo good kay. Makasabay na ako sa van. Alas doy bina, mag na sila niya. Hanto na, 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 na mag, mag chika chika mi nga. Gang, iskwila pa ka karon, unsa na may oras? Ko lagi sir, late na ko, ana ma'am. Nya, grabe naman nya, wala lang mo nang dili kay sila bitaw ma familiar sa ako, okay. Syempre, premier ako late nya. Grabe pa gud pag pag sa eskwelahan makatulog ko, okay. Alas 12 na gud niya, kusog man na siya nga fast food ba nya. So mo na dito nga time nga murag nakaunaw na bitaw ko nga. Hala nga dong. Ano na yung ani, pero Dili, pero sa blessed food, kanang thankful bitaw kaayo kay. Kanang bisan, grabe na mo kahago bitaw graaw. Sa akong, sa akong lang experience. Kanang grabe na kong nagian, kanang. Pero thankful ya pun ko kay. Kanang, wala, wala may gipasagdan ba kanang. Kay, mura gabi mga anak nila kay. Sila kay, kuan man sila mga kanang. Sa church in man sila, kaya ng church in Rosario, may inanay, bitaw nga. Religion. Anya mo to, nabautis mo. Ano mo to, as in, wala gigmi, gihimu mi nilang mga pamilya, anak, pero, ang kama, ang ka, ano mang good, ang, ang mga struggles, bitaw. Nang, grabe good, tapos, nabot na to ang time nga. Tapos, natingan ako kay, ipatawag ko sa mong guidance ba? Nga, sir, sa ba dito po, Ann, si De La Cruz? <laughs> Imuha man yung ano, imuha man yung working niya. Oh, ma'am, ano dahi, ma'am siya nga. Kuan, mga good sir ka nang. Daghan siya bagsak, ano yung kuma. Mga rin to, na, mga rin daw na rin ko kay, kanang, sa first gigs akong life bitaw, is wala dito kay, nang kara bitaw, wala, wala ko yung nabagsak, ina na ba, so, mga rin to ko nakuan nga. Alam nga nun eh, nga nun day tuwod ka naging ani ko, anak ba niya? Tapos muna na yun to, kanang, nito na yun ko sa, kuha, nito ko sa guidance niya. Kaneng, ayun, makailak mo ko eh. 
Ya. Oya, ya tren ko, ya tren ko sa guidance sa ato tapos. Nya. Mura ito dito ko nag nag kadang nangutan nya akong kadang kong guidance is taga San Francisco na guidance counselor na ko. Nya. Pag sabay gid mi ana tapad gid mi ana pag mamalingki ko tapad mi ana. Pero nakafamit nakabalo na gud ko nga. Ano siya? Nakabalo na ko nga guidance na mo. na chika-chika na po may ana niya. Muna din ito, pagpatawag na, magpatawag sa ako, di, dito na ako nag, naghilak siya ko sa iya, hakanap ito. Kanang, kay grabe, buutan ko siya, syempre guidance ko niya. Muna din ito, nag-encourage ko niya nga, ano day, ngano nga day gang ha? Kay kaku kaunda mo, nagod ko ato, wala na ko, gietuan ako sa mga subject teacher sa restaurant, mga ahadi, si Kuan, nga saya, manggod kay, pag-graduate na, pao pa, close pakwan na ba marso na niya ilagi ko pakwan nun niya morento pag nagdecide gi kanang gi comfort jud ko sa guidance bitaw tabangan tika ko nga ma'am first time ako din ako ma'am nga kuan kaning mga kuan ba niya syempre pag abot din ako sa Rosario is ano good go for section jud ko kay dagko mako grado niya morento pag pag ending di ay nga na de bitaw ang nahitabo suburag na na, na down jud ko ba Dahil mo rin ito, nag-decide ko nga, ito, hilak siya na ko, tanan nga, mami, nga ni Manggo din, ha, kapoy na kayo, ana niya, ako nalang sinaligan, ana. Sumuto, gain-carish ko niya nga, sige lang kay, tabangan tika, kanang mga subject ni mo nga, na nga, ano, kaning, isa ni, na nga bagsak, kira nga, ako yung ribahala, ana. Dahil yun, gi, ano na rin ko niya, kanang, gi, gi, kuhan ko niya nga, ang saman, kanang, Pag humani mo aning grade 9, dito ka sa ako, ah, kaya naman kung kayo bata nga, kaling bright, bayaw eh, makatod sa school. Ang rin to, nagka-decide ko nga, oh, sige mo mo, nanak ba, wala ko yung kuan, wala ko yung choice, bitaw nga. Sige, mm -hmm. kaya, kung, kung dito man good ko, kung pili lang na ako akong trabaho, kaya syempre na, kung naganahan na po ko ba, kaya, mm -hmm. kaya ng, yung experience, bitaw niya, Kaya ang pag-eskwela, mang good, labi na, naghibag sa ako mo itong nakadisag ko. Sige, ma'am, mag, magkuanak ko, maghawa na lang ko. Pero, di ko yun nga, maghawa na ko kay tungkol na hindi. Maayo po na akong pagpananghid. Tapos, ang, maayo po na ang ilang pagkuan sa ako. Wala, may as uh, more family na good niya. Muna na yun to, open paghihapon ko sa ilaha, pagbubalik ko niya. Anto na rin ato, dito na ako sa akong guidance counselor na po. Pagka, niya, Timing pag ito nga, paghawa na ako, eh, skwila na ugma, pagkaugma na dito ng pasukan sa grade 10. Sumoto, ako na ning kamot dito ko, at doon ako kong San France. Dito ko sa Iyaha, sa, kaning, sa San France niya. Ipasunod ko niya, ipasunod ko niya sa Agusanay niya. Ning kamot dito ko dito nga, ako rin magpa-enroll niya. Ako ba yung Agusanay dito sa provincial na ito niya? Sumoto, may gani, kaya napot siya mga kanang mga close friends body boy at least pag pagsulod po da ko nga how many nga room di ay nya tus pagkakita na ko nga kana siya nga ko an room an kana nakaset nakadira okay nakadira sumuto so, sige pakita nga mo ni ni so di ni mam wala jud ko kabalo an eh sumuri so, to nagrelax ko nangita ko sa room sus so, kay pag ano na ko kani maday nga room kana akong gihunungan so pag tanaw na ko kay na ba advisor sa Kanang sa, sa ni, sa pultahan, sumuto. Kung nga, good morning, mga ana. Ikaw dahi si Kuan, ma'am siya. Oo, oh, ikaw si De La Cruz. O, dari na ka, na nakaimbang po, dira sa, sa fruit yud, as in. So, niya, muto, kanang, kanang blessed bitong yud ka, ayo. So, kanang, dili man po dingon, wala man po, ki, wala man po doon ko, gibutang sa, kanang, lahat yun, kayo ba, as in, mga experience lang, bitong. Niya, mm -hmm. mo rin po, Grade 10, dito ko sa provincial. Tapos, ano, kay working lagi, sus na po yung mga bata, akong ihatod. So, karon kay, naman day Sunday school ang Sokotek. So, dito na po ko, gibalhin mo, rag, one month ako sa kuan, one month ako sa provincial. Yan, ano yung mga uniform, sayang kayo. Sige lang, paulian kay. Ano, di ako, gura po, gukay. Kaya, 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 kaya